Smoke weed every day. Welcome to this presentation of NBA Playoff Basketball, brought to you by ESPN on EA Sports. The Detroit Pistons are set to face off against the Miami Heat. ESPN's number one NBA commentary team is ready with the call. Welcome to the American Airlines Arena in Miami, Florida. It's game one of the Eastern Conference semi Bye, it's your boy, Mr. DDG94 here with another NBA Live My Career gameplay. Today, we are taking on the Detroit Pistons in the second round of the playoffs. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I played some live because, I, like I said in the last video, I had to catch up with my main character, Money Lamonte. Just finished up Money Lamonte. Now I can come over here and uh, start my second round of the playoffs with NBA Live. I've been putting I've been putting a lot of work in, man. Been putting a lot of work in. Them, them 2K videos for my main character and Money Lamonte. They coming soon. I'm gonna get back to my second channel eventually. But as of right now, I'm taking I'm, I'm I'm just gonna let them videos, the autumn videos I uploaded in the past couple weeks, ride out until they run out. So yeah. As you see right here, taking on the Pistons, the Pistons, who just who who lost Brandon Jennings, but they're still in playoff contention. That's shocking to me. Um, and sadly, the team that I'm playing with, the Miami Heat, are the victims of not even making the playoffs this year, and it's really confusing to me. You know, it's really, really fucking confusing to me how this team is not doing their job. You know, they're not doing their job. It's kind of bothering me sometimes, you know. What are they doing? I have no idea. Detroit is literally. Detroit is literally. I think. Hold on. I think they're about two games behind Brooklyn and Boston, three games behind Miami for that eighth seed right now because we're in the all-star break. So, and this is like Friday, so this will be uploaded on Monday, I know. So, won't be that far off. We'll be watching the NBA, uh, NBA all-star weekend and all that jazz and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, man. NBA All Star Week. Anthony Davis is out. Dirk Nowinski is in. I forgot who else is out. I know Blake Griffin. He went out. So Damian Lillard. He got in. Um. Hmm. I I I forgot. Somebody on the East got Dwayne Wade. He went out, and uh, Kyle Korver got in. I, I I'm. I mean, Kyle Korver, man. Kyle Korver. I'm, I don't have no problem with Kyle Korver being in there. But fuck, I wanted a buck in there so bad, man. I wanted one Milwaukee buck in there, man. We couldn't have gotten B-Money in there. Really, NBA? Come on, Adam Silver. You couldn't put one Milwaukee buck in there? You already got three Hawks. Put a buck in there, man. Put B, put B-Money in there, man. Put B-Money in there, man. Put B-Money in there. You put... You could you could you you could put OJ Mayo in there. You could put G Baby in there. Well, I I take that back about G. I, I I mean I mean you could get away with G Baby. You know G Baby. You know his stats and all that. But you know you, you know I, I I could see him being in there. But I mean like you couldn't put B Money in there though. I'm saying though you could have put B Money in there and that would have I would have been cool with that. I would have been cool with that if you put B Money in there. If you put B Money. 
in there, I would have been cool. But since you want to put Kyle Corver in there because the Hawks are fucking winning, right? I, I'm I, come on, man. One buck could have got in there. If because I mean, if Brandon Jennings wasn't in, I'm pretty sure Brandon Jennings would have been in there. I mean, Brandon Jennings has been one of those. One of those uh, guys who I feel like should have been an all-star for a long time. Not just because he was on the Bucks, but because he really played like he belonged in an all-star game. But the powers that be never really saw him like that, you know. Even when the Bucks were doing good, they, they still never let him get a shine on. Now it's with the Pistons, he's getting a shine on. and I mean, come on, man. I would like to see Drummond in there, too. Because, to be honest with you, it's not that many centers on the East, if you really think about it. It's not really that much centers and big men on the East this year. So, I would have liked to see a guy like Drummond get in there. It would have been nice to see Drummond get in there. But, I mean, you know, Kyle Korver. I mean, I like I said, I don't have no problem with Kyle Korver. I feel like there could have been a better... I feel like we could have got a better option. Like... A big man per se, like Drummond. I feel like Drummond should have been in there. You know, Drum Drummond's doing do, Drummond's doing work. You know, Drummond's doing work. Could put Greg Monroe in there. He's doing work as well. I don't know any other big man you can put in there. To be honest with you, other than like Nene or Gortat, I could see Gortat being in there. But you know, hey. Like I said, I'm cool with Kyle Corford though. I, I feel like this is that one. He's like I always said. Like I said in one of my previous videos, Kyle Corver was very under was very is very underrated and very undervalued with a lot of teams earlier in his years. But ever since signing with like the Hawks, he's been they've used him the right way that he should have been used. So yeah. I'm 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 proud of uh Kyle I'm proud of that Kyle Corver is finally gonna be an all star for once in his career. Uh reminds me of that time when Michael Red was an all star. Remember Michael Red? Y'all don't remember Michael Red. If you don't remember Michael Red, don't don't call yourself a Bucks fan, I'm just saying. Don't don't ever call yourself a Bucks fan if you don't know who Michael Red is. <sighs> Michael Red So much promise. So much promise yet. Too many fucking injuries. Ah, uh, it's hard, Ray. He tore his MCL, ACL. He broke every fucking ligament in his knees, both of them. That is shock. I, I, I don't even know how dude even went on for nine. I don't even know how dude played for nine seasons. I really don't know how this how this man has played for nine seasons, man. This man played nine seasons in the NBA. Torn ACL in both both legs, torn MCL in both legs, torn uh, torn meniscus in both legs. Dude, let dude knees are fucked. His knees have been fucked. I always wonder, like, what is Michael Red doing with his? Why, why does what does Michael Red do to to? I never understood how Michael Red suffered all those fucking knee injuries, and yet, um. I never understood how Michael Red suffered all those knee injuries, considering the fact that he was a sharpshooter. You know, Mike, Michael Red was a knockdown shooter. I never understood how he got all those injuries. But let me stop talking about the Bucks. I, I I really do hate talking about the Bucks a lot. I really do. <laughs> so I'm gonna just keep it like that. Kyle Korver feel like that Michael Red pick, that that symphony, that symphony pick. You know, like Michael Red got in there in 2004 in one year. <laughs> oh man. It was nice though to see him in there though. It was nice, you know. Still, I still think Drummond should have got in because of the fact that there's a lack of big men in the East on on the Eastern team. Let's see who we got on the Eastern team. We got who do we have? You got Paul Gasol, Chris Bosh, Al Horford. Yeah, y'all needed. Yeah, we need an extra person because they got too many big men on the other squad as well. They got Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowinski, uh, uh, Demarcus Cousins. Should 
trying to think who else is on their squad. Who else is on there? I totally forgot who else is on there. I'm drawing blanks now. Somebody else on there who I'm forgetting. All I know is there's a bunch of big men on the West. That's all I know. So, yeah. Let's get the lob going. Get the lob going to the Chris Bush. The Chris Bush. Chris Bush. Going to Chris Bush. There you go. New. New. That's off. I knew that was off. I ain't had to play no defense. He was too far away. Oh, throwing lobs to Wazade. Throwing lobs to Wade. I got nine points, really. Brandon Jennings, my hitter. If you don't know, you need to go back to my. You need to go back and watch my uh, NBA 2K14 uh, series on the PC. Oh yeah, it's cash money. Let me get that going. Oh my God, why, why, why can't I not knock down threes? I'm a 75 overall. Let me hit some threes. Live be hating on my game. Live don't like to see me shine from the three point line. <laughs> I'm rhyming accidentally. My bad. Yeah. Oh, Jennings hating on me. Why you hating on me, Jennings? You know, bruh, bruh. Bruh. Set that pick, Bosh. Ah. Cash money. There we go. Oh, uh, what I tell you? Cash money. Here comes the money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice first half. This is a nice first half because they're actually competing with us. So. Let's see how this rides out. Let's see how this game rides out. Okay. Man, they've been sticking with us this whole game. This is the first team that just does not go away. Like, they just won't die. It's literally a 12 point lead. Oh, give me that. Oh my God, Jennings is hating on my shine today. I don't, how many blocks does Jennings have right now? I know it's got to be like eight or nine. This nigga has been blocking my shit all game. Oh yeah, that's cash. Foul. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Watch that. Bang. Hit him with the three. Hit him with the three Z. Motherfuckers didn't know. Motherfuckers didn't know they gonna know now. Let me let me let me pop. Let me, let me hit him with a free throw real quick though. Let me, let me hit him with a free throw real quick. And one cash money. You know I couldn't miss that. That was a four point play. You really thought I was gonna miss that? Oh my god. Yeah, let me get something, man. Jennings is li Jennings is looking like Sergi Baca out here, dog. He been blocking my shit all night. Every time I drive to the paint, he just come out of nowhere. Get that shit out of here, little Nick. Like, he has literally been blocking my shit all night. There you go. Birdman. Birdman. Oh, foul. Oh. That's the only way I can score. This is literally the only way I can score is if I just foul. If I get fouled, that's the only way I can score in this game. Okay. 15-point lead. 16-point lead. Let's go. Let's just, let's just let's just keep hitting them. Let's just keep hitting them till they fall to the ground. We gotta get them with the dagger, the knockout punch. Jennings is Jennings is unstoppable. This guy, <laughs> look at this dog. Jennings is unstoppable. This man literally, this man is, this man is finna have forty points in the game. Jennings is unfucking stoppable right now. I should have passed out to Wade in the corner. I saw him too, but 
I, you can't pass out. I, that's another thing too about live. You can't pass out the shots. Like you could pass out of them, but it depends on what the shot is. Like it's it seems like some shots you can't like pass out of them, and I don't like that. I think you should be able to pass out of a shot. But they the end. I, I swear, man. Like a lot EA, I gotta get on that mocap game, man. Y'all gotta do what uh, NBA 2K doing with the mocaps, man. Get some. Get some, you ain't gotta get no actual NBA players. You can get some. You can just get some mocaps for some random ass people. You know who 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 just who who good at playing basketball. You know. Just make sure the game. Just make sure the animations are more fluid, man. Like I'm. This game is more fluid, but you know, like I, it, it it could do better. You know, for a PlayStation 4 game, it can do better. Uh, but other, honestly, other than that, I've really had no problem with this game. I stated my problems in, in the beginning. NBA Live saw my video. Actually got a message from one of them, too. Like, somebody, somebody sent me a message. I don't know if it's a real NBA dev. I don't know if it's a real NBA EA dev or not. I don't really know who it is. I'm going to just... I'ma just say who it is, and he, they said we saw a video. We thank you for the for uh, the, the the the. They said we thank you for whatever. What not? They said it, we thank you for um, uh, listing um, complaints within the game. We've we've worked hard to fix them, and we hope you enjoyed. And we hope you enjoy the game from so and so, and that was pretty much the whole letter that was pretty much the whole message right there so I don't know if that's a real EA dev or not I really don't know I don't know if it is or not I don't I don't really trust people I don't really trust people he didn't have a verified he didn't have a verified thing by his uh by his uh name so I I, I don't know but then again the 2K devs, they ain't got no verification, they ain't got no verified account thing by their name, so that's what pretty much separates them from, you know, I, I just, I just don't trust, you know, people, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't do that shit, I don't, I don't fall for that shit, I didn't even reply back to the message, like, I ain't reply back to it, like, oh yeah man, thanks, you know what I'm saying, blah, 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 I'm like, I'm cool. Like I ain't want to reply back to it because I ain't know if this was a scam or not. Somebody trying to get something off of me, trying to hack my account or something like that. I don't fall for that shit, you know. You know, if you're going to do something for me, send me a letter in the mail. You know what I'm saying? Hook a nigga up some tickets, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to come out to L.A., man. I'm trying to hook up with that EA. That EA. I'm trying to hook up with that EA Sports crew, man. Help them out with NBA Live 16, man. I'm trying to help y'all out, man. And I'm also trying to get y'all to come to y'all senses and make another NBA Street. That's what I really want to do. I want to. I want to convince NBA. I want to convince EA Sports to make another NBA Street. Just one. Just one more. <laughs> just one more for the road, man. It's too many players that that. Just put them over there, man. That would be. You know, just bring it back, man. Just bring it back. That's all I really want for them to do is just bring back NBA Street. That's all I really want, man. But anyway, so that's pretty much the aim. Uh, remember, I'm live streaming on Wednesday. <sighs> Be live streaming around probably three or four ish. Probably four. That's a late enough time for me. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's game one against Detroit. Hopefully we come out, we win the game. Hopefully we come out with the win next time in game two and take a 2-0 lead in the series. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And even though some of them smiled and shook hands with the other guys after the game, you can tell by the way they headed to the tunnels how disappointed they were about this loss. Game track. Blocks. The Detroit Pistons gave up a lot of blocks in this matchup. However, they did win in the four shots category, which is how I think a lot of those swats were even made possible. Player 
player of the game. And what we have here are highlights worth a thousand words. There's no question he stood out amongst the rest in today's matchup. Let's have a look at the shot chart. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.